about 13 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Colorado Rockies going up against the Atlanta Braves. Just about to get started. And today's starter, Spencer Strider. And Chris, he's been a workhorse on the mound this year. Over 200 innings pitched so far this season. I mean, just incredible when you consider uh, the lack of durability and the lack of opportunity for starters to go out there and pitch deep into the ball game. So many injuries today that we see. But this guy, as you said, yes, an absolute workhorse on the mound. Not many guys can throw over 200 innings in a season these days. So absolutely reliable in every way. Bouchard gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Bows it back with two strikes. And oh. that one hit 97 on the gun. That's Sets three. him down looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Now here's Nolan Jones. And that's in for a strike. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road. And that should happen here today. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And Acuna able to make the grab. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. One guy swinging a hot bat recently, Chris Bryant. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boo. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things you know, very well up there with the plate. He's got a presence about him, and you know, he's a guy that you really kind of like to watch. Sort of they get the force, third out, and that ends the frame. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. Back here with my pal Singy. Today's starter for Colorado, Peter Lambert. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Mm, that was pretty close on the inside, and obviously he's not too happy with the call out there on the mound as he lets the umpire hear it a little bit. This is where you can't let that frustration compound itself, though. You gotta let it out and move on. 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball up the middle. Into the outfield base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That 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 Here's Jerry Kelman. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Working on a five-game hitting streak. And that's in there for strike one. And a foul ball. The pitch. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. That's hard hit on the line. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Now they've got him in a rundown. He's back in time. He's been swinging it really well lately. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here is Matt Olson. And fouled off. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps.
Phillips on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this he can earn some points just off the outside part of the plate man oh man I don't know how you take that pitch that's as close as it gets right drive Extends his hitting streak yet again. This is starting to get pretty interesting, Siggy. Yeah, and the way he's going, it seems like there's no end in sight. This is a guy that no pitcher wants to face right now, especially with runners on base. I mean, he's doing all the little things right, and it just seems like he's in cruise control at the plate. The oh. next offering misses. And one that ball. is one ball one. Ball. That one missed. Olsen at second with nobody out. And another ball. ball. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. That's a laser base hit. Oh, he botches it. The run comes in from second, but it's 4-0. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Ozzie Albies up to the plate, hitting a ton of homers this year, second most in the National League. He swings and fouls one off. Four runs already in the frame here in game one of this three-game set. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. And a good eye there. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Here's Sean Murphy. Enters the day among the league leaders in batting average, but he'll need to get hot if he hopes to win the title. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They won't test it here. Base is loaded. No outs. All over that one right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's Orlando Arcia. Line drive, base hit. One runs in. Now the second run is in. It's 6 0. Nicely done. Brings home two. Breaking ball is in a decent spot down. Antonio Sensatella on the pitch out of the pen here. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Jordan Luplo now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on what developing enough. that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. Around third. One run is in. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Kelman avoids the first pitch for ball one.
There's the strike. Two on, one out. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. One run across, now two runs score. And they now lead by nine. And that's a double. He was all over that one. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Acuna stands in now and watches strike one. And it's second. And down on strikes. And there's two away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be. This one swung on and hit them. Way back there. Go, he's gone. He'll touch them all. His 68th homer of the year. And they add to the lead. It's 11-0. First pitch changeup didn't fool him in the slightest. He got the front foot down, and then he blasted it out of here. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. No, Riley, the next to hit, takes outside. Two out spaces empty. And that one in the air center field. And that'll do it. What a so first inning. 11 11 nothing. 11 nothing. From Truist Park. It's the wow. Braves 11 and the Rockies nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's Elias Diaz. A little out front there as he swings oh, through it. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Going to now. Just oh, misses oh. the mark outside the zone. On the ground to the left, oh. and it goes just foul. The pitch. Hey. Blows the high knee past him. That's a strikeout. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's oh. just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. That one finds the zone, and it's one and one. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid one, no doubt. I mean, who's better to ask than you? I kind of wonder if Rusty is his actual name or just a nickname. Yeah, no clue. Brendan Rodgers in the box now. No balls and a strike. Bryant over at first with one away. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. In the air, right field. Acuna has it sized up. Two down. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Liner, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. Oh, so that definitely felt good. And a pinch. Oh. Way high. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. Two left for Colorado. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. Back at Truist Park, oh here oh is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Second base. Sends a oh tell oh back to work. Oh and first offering is fouled off. And 
here it comes. And a foul ball. Deal two. And the curve is down and in. One ball. Two straight. That Two one ball. almost Two got straight. him. Straightened him up a little bit. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Diaz on to first. In Here time to get him. One away in the strikeout. The bat Bogey bat. just ran out of patience the there. He took a couple of pitches. Oh to even that count off with two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Smoked on the ground a second. Rogers Out. throws the first, and there's two down. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. He drove it two with a single his first time up. Arcia. Into center. Hannah pulls it in on the run. And we're back. New inning getting started. Now the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. One and that one not close. Ball one. Bouchard, 27 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Next offering in there for a strike. Now one and two. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Here's Charlie Blackman. Huh. Strike one. No ball. One strike. Next oh. pitch misses. One and one. One down. Base is empty. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two away. Next for Colorado, Nolan Jones. First pitch, just misses. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. The Braves up big in this one. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that is cut on and miss. That is strike two. A swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's a one, two, three inning for the Rockies. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Luplo. Jordan. The pitch. Luplo. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Braves really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the game early. He just was never Come able on. to settle in, and the damage was done by the time he got the hook. Right-hander kicks deals. In the air on the infield. Sizes this one up. Puts it away for the out. I mean, when you're chasing the opposing starter in the now first inning or two, that's just two such a tone setter for the game. And it puts the other team there back on their heels, and it instills a lot of confidence in your lineup from top to bottom. Harris in the box again, takes a strike. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Oh. Kelnick at the plate and takes high there. This one lifted in the air, left field. Bouchard under this one. He's got it. Two down. Man at first. No right and here Never is Ronald Acuna, Acuna Jr. Ronald Single to score back in the first. Junior. He's one for two. Next offering. Pop foul off to the right out of play. Harris leads off first with two down to the inning. 
And that's outside. And it's a ball to strike. Wouldn't chase that time. Smoke to right center, and this one's going to go out of here. A gigantic blast. Home run number 55 of the year, and they add on. It's 13-0. Number 40. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Olsen stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Right side, hard hit. Over to Bryant. Inning over on the ground out. Took just two pitches to finish the frame out of the bullpen. Braves pick up two on the long ball. Three innings complete. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Strider back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. All these Rockies just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. Here's a one-two. Good job to fight that one off. Left-hand hitter waits. He goes down looking. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. He doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Tosses to first. And a couple of quick outs. Brian uh, batting for the second time. And that's strike one. Oh. And downstairs. And another ball. Two, and Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Two on pitches in there, and the count is even. And that's outside. And there's ball four. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. 0-2 oh, now as he swings oh, through it. The Rockies with a lot of ground to make oh. up here in game one of this three-game set. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So one left for Colorado. Still looking up at a 13-0 score. Back here in Atlanta, here's Austin Riley. The third baseman. The wide to kick the pitch. Liner staked at first. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Into center and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. One gone runner at first. And next for Atlanta, Sean Murphy. That one is absolutely belted. Bangs off the wall. And it'll be runners at second and third, only one away. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. 110 miles per hour, and man, that exit velocity. Not every hitter's capable of getting that kind of jump off the bat. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. See you later. That's worth the price of admission. 
Home run number 20 on the year. It's 16 to nothing. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. And first offering is fouled off. Already three runs across in the frame. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff. In the Breaking Thank ball, and that got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Back to the top of the lineup. Next to hit, Michael Harris. Three for three with two singles and a double. And there's a foul ball. Luplo, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. That one the other way, and that's a fair ball. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. So digging in, Jared Kellner. Left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. He's already homered in this game. On the ground to third, might be two. Tries to get back and see. Throws to first, they get the out on Acuna. Here's Matt Olson. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That's the third base hit. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they extend their lead. Pitching change here, Austin Gomber. He last pitched two days ago. And the batter now, Austin Riley. One for three. There's a strike. Bounce to the left side. They take the force out, and they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat around at five score. On to the back at Truist Park, and the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Swings through that Go one out in one front straight. that time. All these Rockies just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Jameson Hanna digging in for the Rockies. In there at the knees for a strike. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have runners in scoring position because they put themselves there. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. And there's two down. Here's the Rockies' leadoff hitter, Sean Bouchard. And that one wrapped foul. Two down, nobody on. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Lifted in the air right center field. Harris after it. Drops into the glove. And that'll do it. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. The wind of the pitch. This one in the air center field. Hannah calls it in. And there's one away. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. And it's fouled away. Now the 0-1. 
Swung on, belted. Way back there. And that ball is out of here. That one felt good. His 27th home run of the season. It's 19 to 0. take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop that kind of a now this ball is well hit this one's got a chance pulls it in on the warning track it's a good recovery though after giving up the home run not allowing it to stay in the head but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that oh. loop low in oh, now no. takes ball one off the plate And now the lefty. That one fouled off. One run across in the frame so far. Last half of inning number five. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And that's in the dirt. Yeah, and this is inside. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. On the ground to short. Over to Bryant. That is the inning. Braves get one on the big fly. Five innings complete. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Top six is Chuck Nasty. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. Blackman, multi-time All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was a second-round pick back in 2008. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left. So expecting to add on to that total, and you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout for swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Typically not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there and got a little help from the uh wind, just not enough. McMahon stands in now and watches strike one. That one's in there, and the count is 0-2. The Braves up big in this one, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Got him lifting, and it's a three-up, three-down inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Braves lead it 19 to nothing. And we're back. John Shoppy with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Michael Harris. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Braves, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've been absolutely smashing the baseball. They've racked up a bunch of hits, and eight have gone down for extra bases. And one and two. And eight extra base hits is a big number, and it's pretty clear the offense is just feeding off each other at this point. Confidence is contagious. That misses. Two and two. Left-hand batter waits. Ground ball right side. Rogers out. throws the first. And that's one out as they get now the leadoff out. hitter in the sixth. That's that's the hitter. Hitter. And now it's the Braves yeah, right. DH, Jared Kelman. Yeah, yeah. That ball. one misses. Okay. One and oh. Hit on the ground to the right side. Base hit. 
That's back to back singles for him. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. Now just kind of rolled right over on it a little bit, but Whoa. sometimes those can find the ball and get you a knock. Ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got a great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two on, one out. Nice stop from his backside. There's one double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Acrobatic play to get this one started. Determined to get a good flip. Back here in Atlanta, top of inning number seven. And here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. And there's a strike. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. Tosses the first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Here's Chris Bryant now. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. To the right side, Albies. Fires over to first. Bryant out of the play. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Now it catches the corner for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Harris has a beat on it. Pulls it in to end the inning. Set for the last half of the seventh. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. On the ground, and that chance handled. Now a jump throw, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Ozzy Albies the bat, now at the one. plate. The switch hitter batting right. Albie. Bounce to third, and he grabs it. Foul. Base is empty, one away. Here the bottom of the seventh. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. for that one his 66th home run of the season it's 20 to nothing and their fifth home run of the game some things in this sport are contagious boog and right now for this team clearly it's the long ball when you're lacking velocity it's so critical that you move the ball around so a lefty out of the pen Jalen Beeks I think it's got to be a little tough Number coming in out of the feet, pen yeah. when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it. But he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing get two. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Gets a piece and stays alive. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's two away. And now it's going to be Orlando Arcia. Ripped on a line. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Jordan Luplo next up for the Braves. He's been a great free agent side a swing and a miss and that's strike oh one two outs and one in scoring position next offering in there for a strike and that's strike two action in the pen down there Lucas Gilbert getting ready to come on for Bud Black Kinley a right hander loosening up as well
Manny Diaz. That right, one miss. misses. One and two to count. And a pitch. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. Get out of town. He sends one out the opposite way. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add to their lead. It's 22 to 0. the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. At the play, Michael Harris, sizing this one up, brings it in for the third out. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. Eighth inning coming up. It's Major League Baseball on... We go to the eighth. So in now for Colorado. New pitcher for the Braves, Penn Murphy. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. On the run, sends it over to first. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Brings it in. Next to hit for the Rockies, Sean Bouchard. Oh. Swing and a miss. Going Come on. He threw straight. that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Man at first, one away. Go. Swing Go. and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Next offering is downstairs. One ball, one strike. That's a little bit low. Ground ball right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. The throw is still in time, and they do get the third out of the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the DH, Jared Kelman. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And there's a ball. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Jake Bird, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. This one high in the air to left center. Pulls it in for the out. Tyler Kinley comes on now. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Acuna now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. hit up the middle. Matt Olson up to the plate. So clutch. You could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. That one off the mark. And it's 1-0. There's a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Right-handed reliever. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Acuna stands at first with one out. This is the zone, and it's two and two. Pickoff throw. Acuna back in standing.
kicks and fires. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Man at first, Austin Riley. Next up for the Braves. Foul ball. This one in the air. Drifts towards it. And he makes the catch. And that is that. Back at Truist Park. And now the right fielder, Nolan Jones. That's in there. It's 0-1. Murphy measures 6 feet 2 inches. He throws a slurve, a four-seamer, and he works in a sinker. Goes down looking. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling, and you think the ball's going to get into the gutter, and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call oh. third strike. And ball one. The Rockies with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the night. Olsen handles the chance. Steps on first for the out. Elias Diaz, the next to hit. That's in there. That's strike one. The Braves up big in this one. You're in game one of this three-game set. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. This could end it. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Two outs. Oh. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game. Right. And that'll do it. Nine wins in a row. It's such a good feeling right now with this club that no one wants to be the player that causes the team to lose. In fact, they're looking at ways. Each player, every day they come to the ballpark, how can I help us win today? And this is a great feeling. It's like being in the playoffs when individual statistics don't matter. It's all about the team W. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. The Braves put on a whooping here today. Seven RBIs for Matt Olson, five for Arcia. The Braves take game one, 22-0 the victory.